guys, I hope you're good. There's a wide range of different types of books that I'm excited to get to this month. We'll start off with the fun stuff. Well, they're all fun, but so <laughs> Big Mushy Happy Lump by Sarah Anderson. This is a graphic novel and it won Goodreads People's Choice Best Graphic Novel of 2017. And I was like, oh, I've got to check this out. It's really cute. Personally, I would not consider it a novel because it doesn't tell a story. I think it's really just a collection of comics, but they're hilarious. I'll give you... Here, I'll show you one so you can see the style. Um, these, some of her stuff kind of like goes viral on the internet every now and then. So you've probably seen one or two of her comics before. Uh, but yeah, very cute. I've already read half of it because I was so excited to get to it. I was like, I can't wait. And then I have one children's book that um, I'm planning to read this month. And that is Harry Potter, A Journey Through the History of Magic. And this was written by the British Library. So this is actually based off of an exhibit that the British Library created that you can go visit in person. And obviously I live on the wrong continent to go visit it in person. Uh, so if you do too, that's okay because they made a whole book that shows the, um, well it has Harry Potter content and then also shows some of the images from the exhibits that they had in person. Um, the way this book is organized is by curriculum topic in the Harry Potter universe, which I think is really fun. I'm reading one young adult book this month, and that is Illumine by Amy Kaufman. This is the first book in a really popular young adult series that I never read. <laughs> but the third book in the series, Obsidio, is supposed to come out in March, so I'm hoping to just kind of go through one every month. It's science fiction and it's about two teenagers who are on board spaceships and they're refugees in flight for their lives. So, so far I'm really liking this. I think it's fast moving. I think it's interesting. I've, it's, it's huge, but it's, um, it goes quickly. The format of this book is pretty unique. It's not written in, in typical prose. It's a collection of memos and chat logs and interview records. I'm reading one classic this month and that is Gilgamesh, which I have never read before. The translation that I'm reading is, it's called A New English Translation by Stephen Mitchell. And Gilgamesh is an epic poem from ancient Mesopotamia and it is believed to be the oldest surviving great work of literature. So Gilgamesh is a king. He's believed to be two-thirds god and one-third human and I believe he is not a terribly nice king. I think he's something of a despot. I'm planning to read one biography this month and that is Grant by Ron Chernow. Ron Chernow wrote Hamilton, which is probably the biggest smash hit of the century as far as biographies go. Um, so, and he's always so back. He wrote a biography for Ulysses S. Grant, who was a northern general in the U.S. Civil War and later a president. So it sounds like he was a terrible uh, businessman and became an alcoholic, but was quite good at war. And last but not least, I am reading Of Mess and Moxie, Wrangling Delight Out of This Wild and Glorious Life by Jen Hatmaker. This is a reread for me, my first one of 2018. So this is a piece of inspirational nonfiction, and it's geared towards the female audience, and it's pretty casual in tone. There's jokes, there's humor, there's personal anecdotes, and probably the biggest theme is just being gracious towards yourself and others. Um, I really enjoyed this book. Book. It's a good light read. So those are some of the books I'm hoping to get to this month. Let me know what you're reading down below. I'm always curious what other people are reading. I'm nosy like that. Um, and if you've read any of these books, let me know what you thought down below. As always, thanks so much for watching. I upload Fridays and Sundays and I will see you in the next one.